Join the Barbados Cricket Association as we feature the oldest club in Barbados. The first in the series of the BCA's Club School of the Month feature series, the Wanderers Cricket Club. This is we. So we're here at the famous Barbadian Wanderers Cricket Club uh, speaking to Richard Prof Edwards and with me is Prem Prasad, president of the Brampton Etobicoke Cricket League and I'm Tony McQuatt, um, out of Canada with the Wickets and We Wickets magazines. My association with Wanderers Cricket Club goes back to 1953 when I joined the club Wanderers had their ground in what was called a Bayland and they moved to this area and started playing, I think it was 1954 was the first, no, 53 was the first year they played here. And I lived 200 yards from here. So I was, I came, I used to come down every morning, with, watch the groundsman prepare. They let me hold a rope to pull the roller and uh, became interested in the cricket. So I was a part of the Wanderers thing from early. And from your first division career here at Wanderers, you graduated, of course, to the Barbados national team and then subsequently to the West Indies team. Yeah, I, I went into trials. I was playing for the first division team for Wanderers from 19. I first had a match in 1959. I was 19 at the time, played two matches that year. And then from 1960, 61, Wanderers had won the cup in three consecutive years. I got invited to trials, went down and didn't do particularly well, just ran and bowled and was glad to be there. And, uh, but by 1961, I got picked to go on a team to Guyana. They had a tournament between the, all the territories. Quadrangular uh, tournament. Quadrangular tournament. And that's when I first made my debut at Border in 1961. Since then, we've had Craig Brathwaite and Definitely. Jason Holder, they played plus lots of other people like Shea Hope and, those, and his brother were members of our junior program that we had here. But we had so many, right. so we couldn't play everybody. So they went to other clubs, which, which, which but that was good but because it was a, 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 a sort of initiation or a learning process here. So Wanderers had a, a big, did a, made a big contribution, I would say, into helping the development of a lot of, of cricketers and who went on to play for, for West Indies. What has been the key to the development of the structure of your Wanderers program that has allowed the club to produce so many outstanding cricketers over the years? You would have to say that the people involved themselves were very committed. I can't, I couldn't imagine any day when during when I was from 19 to age 40, I couldn't imagine any day that I was I wouldn't have been down here, right, right. and I couldn't imagine that 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 there would come a time when I, I, I wouldn't be here. Right. I, I always used to say that that old tamarind tree down in the corner there, when, I, um, when I'm gone, just pelt my ashes up in, up in there. That, that's, <laughs> that's, that's good enough for me. And we're on to our second part of our um, Barbados Wanderers Cricket Club um, interviews. And we're here with Ricky Clark. And I'll ask Ricky to introduce himself and um, tell us a bit about your involvement with the club. Well, um, I've been around Wanderers from the time I was nine years old um, and um, it's been um, a, what I would describe as a total revelation ever since I was nine years old. Um, I have um, grown through the club, um, first uh, getting involved with the first division team at the time and then I went on to play pro cricket in the leagues. Um, I've returned and I've been sort of like uh, meddling with other things with my business. Um, I'm a sports show coordinator, um, organized the Cigar Free Sober Schools tournament. Um, I do all the planning for the county's preseason um, tournaments. Um, in addition to that, I also got involved with hockey. Um, I'm now the head coach of the club and um, it's been a total revelation. Um, tell us a bit about the structure of the club now in terms of its teams, you know, which divisions you guys are playing in. And, you know. We have um, here three clubs, three teams, sorry, um, at the club. Um, we have the Premier team, which is uh, plays in the elite division. 
And then we have an intermediate team and we also have a second division team. Within the last, um, I would say the last six, seven years, we've been either at the top or very close to the top. Uh, the last two divisions that the BCA were able to organize within um, the current uh, climate, um, we were beaten in the finals um, for the T20 competition. Um, that was 2020. And um, in the 50 over competition, we were also beaten in the finals in 2019. Well, for 2019, 2018, and 2017, in the elite competition, which is a three-day competition, we were able to come third on each occasion.